So we're going to uh, go over some abdominal palpation quickly. We're not general surgeons. We're, we're, you know, we're not even primary care doctors, but we do have a few things through palpation that we can look at for abnormal reflexes. I usually like to, when I do abdominal palpation, have the patient in hook lying. That just really allows um, things to be exposed a little bit better. If you're checking for that uh, reflex, you're looking to see if there is a great deviation over one side or the other. Remember that uh, beaver sign was a sign of somebody who might have uh, FSH, facio humeral muscular dystrophy. Other than that, we have our different quadrants. So you can just palpate and see if there's any tenderness in any of the different quadrants if the patient's coming in, especially with primary thoracic pain. And this is the, the whole point, is if somebody's coming in with primary thoracic pain, Everyone says that it's safe. When it's safe, it's really safe. When it's bad, it's really bad. So you just want to make sure. So you, and then you can do a little bit of percussion. See how it's hollow there on the left and on the right? It's not because a little bit of the liver comes out here and the spleen is nestled up around there. So we have our, our different points that we're looking at to see if there's rebound tenderness. So I just check out the four quadrants. I don't go super specific, but just making sure that things aren't tender along that, that area. Also, you can palpate for the abdominal aorta. Sometimes I'm standing on the left side, but it doesn't matter. You get, go along the line of the umbilicus, and it's not a kung fu move. You just kind of ease your way down. You're basically trying to create pressure between your hand, the artery, and the vertebral body and I can feel a good pulse here. And you can almost see the pulse when you see the video, you'll see it. What you're looking for is you palpate to find the outer margin of where the pulse is like faded. And then you, you so you'll go on either side and then you can get a width. Where the pulse fades should be inside of five centimeters. So if you have anything greater than somewhere between four centimeters and five centimeters, then you're worried about somebody with an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Usually over 60, uh, the clinical practice guideline says girth under 100 centimeters, but that's just because people can palpate it better on people 100 centimeters. It's not that thin people actually have less of a chance. Uh, and then they have uh, pain that is in the lumbar spine or referred pain that doesn't change, lumbar pain that doesn't change with uh, therapy in about 30 day period. So again, we'll put that on, on your radar. So let's just do a little bit of the abdominal palpation. <laughs> 